Tonight we're making Thai curry, which is a little bit different than an Indian curry. A Thai curry traditionally uses really fresh ingredients, whereas an Indian curry uses powdered spices to get that little kick. They're both delicious, they're both really spicy, but I'm really excited about this one. We're gonna be using ingredients like ginger, lemongrass, fresh bell peppers, a little butternut squash, which is kind of unusual, uh, and it's gonna be a delicious hint of garlic and ginger underneath all of it to really bring it together. My name is Ramona D'Amato. Uh, today we are going to be making a Thai curry, which is a delicious and inexpensive meal that you can make with your friends when you invite them over. Uh, we have a lot of fresh ingredients today. It's really colorful and it's really easy, so we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm excited to have you join me. I love making this curry, especially when I have a couple of friends from college over because we spent a beautiful summer together in Thailand. Uh, one of my friends, Susan, uh, actually grew up in Thailand, and so this was a recipe that I learned from her that she actually learned from her mom. So it's a really special recipe. Uh, to get started, we're going to use a couple of really beautiful shallots and a nice big uh, red onion. We're gonna start with just cutting some nice big chunks of this onion. You don't really have to worry about keeping it too small. So I'm just really gonna uh, cut it into thirds and then I'm gonna cut just big, nice slices right down the middle. That's gonna cook down so you can leave it in those big chunks. Uh, maybe I'll give it another cut in half, just for fun, right? Um, so I'm gonna put that to the side and then now what we can do is we are going to uh, actually get our oil going in the pan because we're gonna get these onions starting over here. Ooh, I'm getting a little teary. We're gonna get started by putting about two tablespoons of canola oil into a hot pan. Uh, we're gonna get that started with some nice shallots, which I've cut up for us, some garlic, a uh, little bit of chopped, finely chopped ginger, and then those onions that we started with before. Uh, I'm also gonna get us started with cutting some of the other ingredients that are gonna go into this curry. So we're gonna start with this big red pepper. I love red pepper. I have to say, I'm a fan of just eating it raw. Uh, I like to just kind of chomp on it like a carrot sometimes. Uh, but red pepper is great because it can add a nice crunch to your curry as you're cooking. I'm gonna cut it lengthwise and then kind of chop that all in half. And then the other uh, really interesting ingredient that we've got today is butternut squash. Butternut squash might not be in a curry that you've had before, but it is a great ingredient to use. It's rich, it's a really nice dense root vegetable, so it's kind of a cousin to the potato that is in more traditional Thai curries. Last ingredient I want to show you before we start with our uh, with our oil is actually lemongrass. Now lemongrass is kind of an unusual ingredient. You may not be that familiar with working with it. It looks like this. It's a long stalk. It's really beautiful and it's got a very specific flavor that you are gonna know from eating Thai food in a restaurant. I have my little hammer here. I'm gonna actually take my lemongrass and I'm gonna pound out the lemongrass to break down some of that tough cellulose inside the lemongrass. The way I do that is I just cut it into a nice workable piece. I take my hammer and I pound it out. It's great for getting out any kind of aggression you have too. But that's gonna help open it up and make it nice and easy to access. I'm gonna put that into the coconut milk when I'm cooking with it as well. I chopped two good, good sized cloves of garlic which are going straight into this hot oil. And two big shallots. My red onion from before. And my ginger going right in the pan. I just want to make sure this all spreads out nice and evenly. This is going to brown a little bit. You want to just get the nice saute going. <clears throat> we also have the butternut squash here in the coconut milk that I had mentioned before. So 
So I've already got in this pan the onion from before, two nice shallots, uh, two big cloves of garlic, and a little bit of ginger going there getting nice and brown. I love the smell of onion. It always reminds me of cooking with my family. It's just that smell of like home cooked meal. I love it. Um, I'm about to put in two nice spoonfuls of my red curry paste. This is to your taste. Uh, red curry paste is a little spicy. So if you're not such a big fan of spice, you can go a little bit lighter on this. And if you like the spice, then you can go as crazy as maybe even three tablespoons. I'm gonna plop that right in. You can get this at your local Asian grocery store. Uh, you can you know look it up online. I know people who even make it their own, and so it's a it's a fun ingredient that you can play around with. I'm also going to put in a little bit of fish sauce. Uh, fish sauce is also something you can get at most grocery stores, but if you can't find it, look for a local Asian grocery. They'll usually have it there. Just going to put in a little, like a, a tablespoon, of fish sauce. Let that. <clears throat> Hit the oil. I'm going to start with my red pepper. I also cut up another, uh, an orange pepper too, just for a little more color. I'm going to throw that right in. Get that going. Uh, and then I'm going to put in my butternut squash, which has been cooking in coconut milk and a little bit of lemongrass. I'm going to pour that in as well. It's going to be really delicious. Mmm. While that's going, I'm actually going to uh, take a moment and we're gonna talk a little bit about proteins. Um, this is a meal that you can be creative with around your proteins. I chose tofu today. I have a vegetarian friend coming and we wanna make sure that she feels uh, welcome at our dinner party. But you can put anything really in here, shrimp, uh, chicken, if you want to do maybe like a little pork belly, that can be something fun to put in a curry as well. Uh, but I love tofu. I think it's actually a really unique flavor uh, when you've got it going with a nice crispy outer layer. It adds a nice texture to the curry. And it's inexpensive, it's easy. I think it's a great choice. Uh, but I leave it up to you, whatever you like the best. So I'm using tofu today, and what I like to do with my tofu is I cut it into big pieces, nice hearty pieces here as an example, and then you're just going to lightly coat it in some cornstarch. Light coating, like you would with like a chicken cutlet. You can put it to the side, and then what we're going to do is fry those up in a little bit of oil. This is going to be nice as a finishing touch to our bowls with curry. You're not going to put it actually into the curry, but you're going to serve it on top. So I'm going to put these to the side because I've actually fried up a few already so we can see what this looks like. So when you fried them in a pan with some oil, they end up looking like this. They're beautiful, golden crust. And this is going to be what's our, finish, our finishing touch on the top of our curry. The last thing that I'm going to do today before we finish up is I'm going to put in the final ingredient into our curry, some string beans. Now I've already blanched these, so these are a little bit cooked, which is why I'm waiting until the end to put them in. If you don't have time to do that before, you can put them in a little bit earlier than I am and they'll cook in the, in the curry when it's cooking. I'm going to put those into the curry and then we're almost done. Last step is to just put in a little bit of final seasoning. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna have a lime, and then I just take my reamer, and I'm gonna put that right over our beautiful curry and just get a little bit of lime juice in. It's gonna brighten up those flavors. It's already salty because of the fish sauce. It's got nice spice because of that curry paste. So the lime, lime juice is just gonna get it <clears throat> nice and bright. You can ream the whole lime over the curry. And when that is done, we are gonna put a little cilantro that I have chopped before. And then the final secret ingredient that we are putting into our curry today is this ingredient called galanga. It's actually a Thai ingredient. It's kind of similar to like a garlic. Uh, you may not have seen it before, it's, a, it's great to find at an Asian grocery store. We're just going to put a little bit of that over the top. So I'm going to plate this. We've got our rice that I made in a steamer. If you don't have a steamer, you can use a, like a, a colander and a nice piece of cheesecloth. It can be a really successful way to make this rice. I'm going to spoon out just a little bit. 
those colors, so vibrant, and it smells delicious. And we're just gonna put a couple of pieces of tofu right on top. How beautiful is this? I am so happy with how this turned out, and it is gonna be great to share with my friends. One of them is here now. My last guest just left. What a successful evening. Everyone had a wonderful time with this food. It really brings out the conversation at the table. I'm so happy that you got to join us tonight. Please come back next time when we explore the culinary traditions of England and we're gonna make a very special dish called trout in a parcel. I promise it's gonna be lots of fun. <laughs> Cheers.